Sunnyside Pavilion. This complex used to be part of the amusement parks that were built down here in the 1920s or so. Oh, look, we've got a wedding up here. And, uh, oops, right up there. And uh, those amusement parks were taken down in the 50s or 60s when the Garden Expressway over there was built. Toronto's waterfront looked much different at that time. And uh, I guess it's gotten a little duller in many ways. Sea ducks, my god. And uh, so this pavilion, I think, dates back, up, back all the way to the 1920s. It's a place where they occasionally shoot movies. People also have weddings there. It has a lovely little outdoor cafe. It's a nice uh, volleyball game going on. folks who don't realize that we don't really have the uh, polar bears running around right here in the city. That starts a little north of here. So right next to it is actually the Sunnyside Pool. Here it gets really sandy. I don't know if I'll be able to continue here on my rollerblades. Might be a little bit dangerous. And this takes you all the way further east towards uh, Ontario Place, which is one of Toronto's major outdoor entertainment venues. And let me now give you a view all the way back. I came from over there, from the other side of the Humber Bay. Here, let me show you. Let me just get a little bit further up. Here are the high rises that I showed you earlier in the lovely bridge designed by Santiago Calatrava. And uh, here's the pool, all empty now because it's end of September, but it sure feels like it's still summer. It's probably mid-twenties right now at five o'clock in the afternoon, September 29th, phenomenal day, and uh, just a perfect day to be outside. <laughs> 